It's about 7.30ish in the morning. And I'm gonna go get some coffee. They got breakfast down here from 6 to 9. And I'm gonna drink coffee from 6 to 9. <laughs> Just kidding. It's a new day, baby. It's a new day, let's get it. Woo, fresh day. Well, I just dipped in to get some coffee real quick. And Tower, he was awake and he was already walking around the town. He's already explored for us. We're walking right now to get uh, some breakfast. A little, uh, maybe a bigger breakfast at uh, a real breakfast. A real breakfast, yeah. Uh, but they did have a nice breakfast down there and they have good coffee, so you know, no one can complain there. And it's to the things that you gotta get done on a zero day, like laundry, because I did put my shirt on this morning and uh, regretted it. <laughs> I had to put my head through the armpit area and that was just not a good way to wake up. Um, but one thing we were actually just talking about because it's a little bit chilly today, it's interesting how much sun exposure you don't get in the desert and how the heat really isn't actually a factor. Uh, coming into the hike, even though so many people have hiked it, all I ever heard was it was so hot in the desert and you know things like that. And if you have a nice hat, and you got a nice, you know, you wear sleeves every once in a while when the sun's really out, you'll be fine. But I say that now after the days of, you know, losing all those electrolytes and getting sick, so lesson learned, I guess. <laughs> hey, this guy's food's here, so we're gonna make this snap. It's Young Gun, and he hiked the AT in 2015. Yeah, and uh, he was just helping me with some hiker lingo, man. We got a good list for you guys going. And this is Butcher, right? Yeah. Butcher, man. Boucher. Awesome. Check out the nails. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Very nice. It is 10 a.m. on a zero day here in Tehachapi, and uh, I we just went over to the post office. Uh, Tower drove us, which is very nice of him, and uh, uh, I actually don't have any resupply to pick up, but I've had a couple friends say that they were going to uh, drop off some packages, and I totally got them. Two huge thank yous today, man. One to my main man, Bobby Wirtz. His company is Metal and Wood. I've talked about him a bunch on the vlog, uh, but he's my best buddy, and uh, check out his company. He uh, came up with the idea himself and has just been rolling with it, and it's growing really fast, and he makes some awesome recycled wood furniture. But uh, he sent me this whole box of stuff, man. Check it out. Socks, duct tape, some coffee, he knows me well. Soap, man. This is the kicker. Homemade chocolate chip, I think, cookies. Dude, what? The heat warmers, uh, let's see, M&Ms, dude. I was gonna buy uh, some rope today for uh, future endeavors slash creek crossings. The man sent me some, man. He knows me too well. This is another crazy thing. I was gonna get, I didn't really care what they were, but I was gonna get some higher ankle socks. Got them. This right here is this company. I'm gonna put his Instagram down below. It's called Metal and Wood. Huge thank you, man. Thank you so much, Bobby. Like, I really do appreciate it, man, and I hope to see you soon. Second thank you I gotta give is to my other main man, Sean Giddings. Uh, we grew up together. I actually used to babysit him, which is crazy. Uh, they had like a seven-year-old babysitting a five-year-old. But whatever. Some gummy bears in it. Four pack of teepee. You never know when you're gonna need it. Uh, some crystal light, man. I know those are expensive. I don't buy them because they're too expensive. So I appreciate it. And uh, some other snacks and stuff. And the kicker, dude, that he sent me. A Taco Bell gift card. He knows me too well, man. Is, what is he, my best friend or something? <laughs> so a huge thank you again to those two guys. Man, my two good friends at home, and and uh, I really appreciate it. And I'm sending my love to them from Tehachapi. And uh, thanks again, guys, man. Thanks for looking out for me. Figuring out that old resupply. I did thank my two best buddies for sending all these, all these goodies for me, but I'm realizing that they probably didn't do this without their girlfriends. And I want to thank Abby, especially for the Starbucks, because I know you work at Starbucks, so you probably got those. 
and Wit for helping out. Old Wit always pulls through. So thank you again, guys. I appreciate it. There's a lot less that I have to get at the store now. So you guys are awesome. What should we get? The one and only. This is the treatment, dude. She's loving it. Beep, beep, beep. It's over. She's like, alright. I haven't seen him. I'm so ready for dinner. Lost boy. Lost big time. Lost boy. I really wanted sushi. But yeah, oh, he, he did. Guy. He actually got lost. Dude, we had, we had this, we had Thai patty last night. I had like just a vegetable soup. Uh-huh. In 15 minutes, it just came out. No way. Like, what else? Right. Dude, what happened? Right <laughs> Tell me about your food. Don't go there. Did it hurt? Did it hurt, Buzz? <laughs> uh, not really, no. <laughs> Did it hurt? Well, it's about 7.30 p.m. and we just had dinner and uh, I'm actually gonna wrap up the vlog. I'm gonna take one more shower and get some rest and just relax for the rest of the night. But there has been a lot of talk about the Sierra Nevadas coming up at mile 700. That's in 150 miles. And the, uh, the strategy we wanted to go as a group and what I wanna do personally. And I wanna keep you guys in the loop with my plans. Here's what my plan is. I have uh, 90 miles from here to Lake Isabella at mile 652 and uh, I'm actually going to be getting off trail for a few days to go to San Diego and just relax, be away from the trail just for a little bit and uh, for three days actually and then I'm going to be back on the 30th to Lake Isabella, hike the 50 miles to uh, Kennedy Meadows, be there the first or the second and hike out on the third and we are definitely going for it. So I'm excited to tell you guys that. We are not skipping it. We are gonna give it our best shot. We're just going in the mindset with doing the best that we can. And uh, if we get you know, 100 miles in and it really is too hard and there's too much snow, we'll come on back and we'll figure out a new plan. But for now, June 3rd, heading out of Kennedy Meadows for the Sierra Nevadas. So I'm excited about that, I really am. But I'm taking you guys along the way with me, man. We're, we're gonna do it together, we're gonna figure it out. Uh, I got a lot of gear coming my way and I'm getting rid of a lot of gear, sending it home for the Sierras. When I get it, I will definitely show you guys for the people that love gear out there, I know you guys do. But, unfortunately, I think this is the saddest thing. Honest, and, and, I, and I'm genuinely sad about this. Uh, so tomorrow, Strider is going to head out with us, he's going to hike one night with us, and then he's going to move on. Strider's going to keep going. He's going to hit the Sierra Nevadas almost when I'm in San Diego around the 26th, May 26th, and uh, he's going to go and find another group and head on out Sierra Nevadas. So he'll be about a week ahead of me. Not saying I won't ever see him again, but a week of time is a hard amount of time to make up. You can always make up about a day or two on the trail if they agree to go slower and you agree to go faster but a week is difficult. So I don't know when the next time I'm gonna see Strider is. And uh, we've been talking about it, man, and it actually does make us pretty sad. We've, we've uh, been since mile one, since Campo. We've, we've hiked almost every day of this trail together. And uh, uh, you know, I consider him one of my best friends, man. So it's, it's hard to uh, you know, see him go, but that's the trail, man. Hike your own hike. Even in these times, it's definitely difficult, but you know what, we're out here. We're all trying to do the same thing, and I know I'll see him again, man. Even if it's after the trail and he comes to my house, you know? He's always invited, so 
Um, that's the sad news, man. That's the sad news, unfortunately. I do want to apologize for today's vlog. There is absolutely no trail in today's vlog at all. And uh, just a zero day here in Tehachapi, getting a lot of things done. I want to give another huge, huge, huge thank you to Tower. He's been driving us around. We just packed 12 people in his car and uh, went and ate dinner. So 12 people in a forerunner. <laughs> he drove four hours just to hang out with us. My stay in Tehachapi would have been far from smooth without him. So thank you very much to Tower. He's actually gonna hike uh, about eight or nine miles with us tomorrow. Maybe have some lunch or some dinner with us depending on how the day goes. And he's gonna hike back out to his car and uh, head on home. So do a little day hike with us, which is fun, man. That's what I like. I like when people come out and hike and uh, and see what my passion is out here on the trail. If anyone ever has any questions, you know, about the Sierras or what I'm thinking, I will always try to uh, comment back. Uh, when I have service, I will do my best uh, to answer your questions. Um, but for right now, we're just going in it as an open mind. We know the snow is high. We know it's dangerous. A lot of research as a group, and I have individually, and uh, we're gonna practice a lot of self-arresting before we even start. Like I said, you know, uh, a couple videos back, you know, just set yourself up for success. And I'm gonna do whatever I can to make myself feel 100% comfortable going in so that, man, 400 miles later, we'll be in Lake Tahoe and ready to go to Northern California. So that's the plans. Last thing before I leave you guys tonight, I genuinely wanna extend a huge thank you to everybody out there that's reached out to me. I've had a lot of very, very, very nice messages, uh, very supportive people out there, and uh, people sending me things and offering to pick me up and offering to come see me. And man, like I, I really do feel blessed, and I and I'm so thankful to everyone watching the videos and just hanging out with me. But sincerely, like thank you very, very much for hanging out with me throughout the day. But for now, man, I will see you guys. Tomorrow!